The Livonia Arts Commissioners are appointed by the Mayor of the City of Livonia. At this time, I would like to introduce our Chairperson, Brian Duggan, to introduce the Mayor. It's my honor, actually, to introduce a friend of mine. He's a man I've known since the 80s, a man that's been the Mayor since the 90s, 16 years serving Livonia. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our Mayor, Jack Kirsty. Thank you very much. I'm delighted to be with you this evening. A little bit earlier tonight, I had one of the really enjoyable duties. Uh, being Mayor has a lot of really great stuff that goes with it in terms of what you do. But part of it is that you perform marriages. So just a bit ago, uh, I did that at a nearby church and uh, hall, and then uh, back here, and I'm delighted to uh, be with you this evening. I am finishing up my uh, 16 years of uh, being the mayor of Livonia. I've been very honored by that. It's a term limited kind of thing. And so the first eight years, I thought I was finished four years elapsed and then you could run again and uh, it took a lot of Chardonnay but Pat finally said I could so I, I went out and, and ran the uh, ran the second time. Uh, Pat and I have been married for 62 years and um, at the end of the year I will be retired. I've retired quite a bit I just don't know how to stay retired. This time it's it's for keeps and she'll wonder who this guy is that's hanging around the house. You know, so I hope that we continue to have the happy marriage that we have. But I'm delighted to be here with you. And this is, there are probably about 160 commissioners on various commissions, the Youth Commission and Commission on the Aging Planning Commission and so forth. This is, without a doubt, one of the most active commissions that we have. Pat was uh, on the charter group of the Art Commission. She was with the first group that formed. And uh, each time when I come and, and have the opportunity to share a few minutes with you, when I say, even though there are many, many commissions uh, uh, that are empowered by our charter, this is the hardest one. And in, in a lot of ways, it probably has the most recognizable and some of the greatest impact of, of, and this is not to take anything away from the others, but uh, music from the heart, uh, all kinds of things that you folks do are appreciated and make a difference in the quality of life that we have in this community. So I'm very honored to be with you uh, this evening and looking forward to a delightful uh, evening and have a chance to get around and see you personally. But thank you for the time to be with you and share some thoughts. I appreciate it. Thank you again, Mayor Kirksey. It is always an honor to have you attend our reception. Finally, our awards. We had so many artists submit their work from across Michigan. Our juror, Dave Messing, is our hometown professional artist. He attained his Bachelor of Fine Arts from Wayne State University, Detroit, Michigan, where he specialized in sculpture, advertising, and design. He has continued to add to his professional artist skills by adapting to all mediums, such as drawing, colored pencil, pastel chalk, painting, jewelry making, photography, and all forms of sculpture. He will share his thoughts on our exhibition after the awards are presented. Finally, our awards. As your name is called, please come to the front and receive your award. Also, please fill out paperwork and return to Chris, Chris Swish during this evening. She is waving somewhere. She's over there. <laughs> okay, Brian, all set? Okay, for our best of show, Robert Parrish for the work titled Ronaldo. Congratulations.
Second place goes to Lisa Mastic for the work titled Favorite Chair. Congratulations. Third place is Tim O'Keefe for the work titled Little Claire. Congratulations. The juror's choice is Derwood Coffrey for the work titled The Scarlet Macaws. Congratulations. The mayor's choice goes to Chuck Schroeder for the work titled The Ranch House at 7 a.m. Congratulations. The Arts Commissioner's Choice goes to Michael McNamara for the work titled The Hat Shop. Congratulations. The Award of Merit goes to Ed Chernick for the work titled Cuban Man in the Doorway. Congratulations. He had to leave early so he won't he isn't with us right now. The honorable mentions are Robert Atkins for the work titled Sweet Thing. Congratulations. The next award goes to John Morosik for the work titled Asian Teapot. Congratulations. Take a picture. <laughs> the next award goes to Susan Parrish for the work titled Irish Lace. Congratulations. The next award goes to Cheryl Phillips for the work titled Yellow Blossom. Congratulations. And congratulations to all of you. I would also like to recognize the wonderful music by the GFK Trio. The party time. The party time rental company and the delicious food catered by Burton Manor, which we will all enjoy this evening. At this time, I would like our juror, Dave Messing, to talk about our fine arts exhibition. Dave? Hi. I only have five minutes, so I want to quickly take you through the throes of juring an art show.
First, out of the 130 to 140 entries, we only have room for 90 pieces, so right away we have to reject maybe up to 50 pieces, which is uh, relatively easy on the first phase because uh, I, I look at the, say, 100, uh, was it 120 or whatever the, the amount of entries, I, I look at them all and then look for obvious mistakes like six fingers on one hand. <clears throat> I know we had one with uh, four knuckles on, on the finger that was showing. And uh, I'm not putting anybody down because I did the same thing. I have a piece up there. It's a bow relief of a girl that's walking and she's holding her dress. I worked so hard getting her little fingers around the drape of her dress that I accidentally put six fingers on her hand. <clears throat> well, I love the hand and didn't even notice it for like two days. And when I'm getting ready to make the mold, I noticed it. And it took me about 20 minutes to decide which finger to cut off. So I, I, I liked it that much. So we're looking for obvious mistakes like that on the first pass, because like I said, we need to weed out 40 or 50 pieces. So I'm looking for like Quasimodo anatomy, perspective nightmares, poor focus, bad cropping, scale problems, all of those have to immediately go out of the show. Then here comes the dreaded rejection email or postcard. And I think we've all had one of those. Can I see a raise of hand? I have, I have two, and no matter how polite the rejection is worded to the artist, it reads, come and get your crappy piece of art out, <laughs> uh, <laughs> out of our snooty, awesome art show. <clears throat> now, fortunately, I don't have to send those letters. Now, out of the 90 pieces, let's say, that I picked, those were pieces that I liked because I thought they made for a good art show. Out of those pieces, I have to select 10 or 12 pieces that are even the best in the show. Now for this, I start a um, artistic kaleidoscope of criteria that I've used for 30 years. I have to read this part. I'm looking for color, value, balance, cropping, alignment, proportion, tangents, scale, technique, Subject, mood, presentation, perspective, detail, method painting, special effects, relative scale, realism, abstraction, correctness, finish, focus, framing, and on and on and on. So all of that spinning in my head. And by the way, when I'm looking at art, normally I don't see any of that stuff. If it's a cute girl, I like the picture, or a puppy, or whatever, I don't look for that. But when I have to weed out these pieces, that's the way we have to look at it. So out of all those things mentioned, it gets very hard to, to do. I've been doing this for 30 years. When I started, I had a full head of hair, and it's going fast. <clears throat> so here come the awards. And in picking out the awards, I have to ask myself these types of questions. Is the one I picked for best in show that much better than the second or third place? There's a slight tangent in the background of one of them. Should that knock it out of first or second place? Third, sure, third place has a bit of lazy palate, so maybe that should be honorable mention, or maybe we should swap all the honorable mentions with the Merit Awards. And then other questions like, who the, what the heck is the difference between a jury's award and the second place award? Uh, so as we weed through all of these, uh, another question I always think is, how much am I getting paid to do all of this? <clears throat> so congratulations to all the winners and all of those who made the cut, because we really did have to cut away a lot of artwork. So congratulations to anyone that made it into the show. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I do want to take this opportunity to announce uh, a blog, my art blog that I'm starting tonight. As of noon today, it wasn't quite ready, but uh, my son got it. Thank you. I'm Every year I get a flu shot and lose my voice immediately. <clears throat> so I want to take this opportunity 
to uh, introduce this art blog. And I think one thing that's unique about my blog will be that I will be constantly showing uh, after juring for 30 years, I think it would be valuable to see what does a juror look for. And sometimes it's a tiny little thing that will knock a, um, either knock an art piece down or even out of a show. So I'll be annoying you with uh, handing those cards out. They're here and they're up in the show, up in the, in the art show. Uh, it's just my name with the blog. And. Uh, <clears throat> I will be up there if you have any questions about how I juried a piece or if you want to punch me in the face or whatever. So thank you very much. Thank you, Dave, for making our exhibition a success. We are honored you were our juror. This will conclude the 18th Annual Fine Arts Exhibition. Please stay, tour our gallery, and enjoy the remaining, um, remainder of your evening with us. And congratulations to all the artists on our show this evening. <laughs>